Now, a lot of people use food to do that, to teach that behavior. Like I've said, I don't, but a lot of people do. And when I work with people where they have used food, it becomes very obvious that they have used food. And there's several reasons for that. There's several key, um, uh, if you like, key behaviors that the dog gives that demonstrate that they've been taught with food or a toy, and that there's been quite a heavy reliance on that food or the toy. And so the people end up correcting the dog for breaking the position, whereas the error is theirs. Okay, it's their fault because they've taught the dog to anticipate and expect food being give, uh, given or delivered from a specific position. You, so you can still train the behavior with food. It can be prevented, but it can be prevented if you do something pretty simple. Spin that, so I'll bring it into here, okay, which you'll see a lot. So the dog's becoming focused on taking the food like that. That's the only place where that food gets delivered. I'll bring him in, good boy, good boy. Good boy, and I'll turn him, good boy, good boy. I'm not feeding him, it's just in my hand, but he's not getting it. See how chilled that is in comparison to that constant reaching for and grabbing for food and, do you know what I mean? As in me grabbing for food because I have to reward him, I have to reinforce him, I have to let him know that he's right. But look at the behavior, look at the tail, look at the general sort of like attitude of the dog where you're saying, you're doing this behavior because you need to. I'm 